Ever since I've been here at Illusion Dental, I've been seeing a lot of different types of bite registration materials coming into the lab. So let's go ahead and talk about different types of bite registrations for crown and bridge. The most common material that some dentists use for registering bites is modeling wax which is the worst of them all. This is what the wax bite looks like, it's just a piece of wax which has been folded over and used for the bite. There are lots of issues that we face in the lab with these kind of bites. They almost always distort when you're removing it from the patient's mouth. And even when you're transporting it to the lab, there is a lot of distortion happening. So please do not use modeling wax for bite registration as it is really not that accurate. One of the variations to modeling wax is this kind of alu wax. This has aluminum particles embedded in it which gives it the required rigidity. So it's a little bit better than modeling wax. Now irrespective of what material we are using for the bite, it is very important to rehearse the closing position of the patient. This will help you record the bite without having to struggle to get the correct biting position. You can soften the wax in hot water like this and fold it over. put it into the patient's mouth and ask the patient to bite. It is extremely important to have the wax only over the prepared teeth. I see a lot of bites at the lab with the entire arch which is really not needed. In fact, it may lead to a lot of inaccuracies in your bite in the sense that the patient may not be able to close fully into maximum intercuspation. Now the next important thing is to transport this aluwax bite in the right way. I suggest that these bites be transported in a box like this which is filled with chilled water. This will help the bite to be viable till the time it reaches the lab. Another common mistake that some dentists make is they register a bite with putty. Now what happens is because of the elastic nature of the putty, it kind of bounces up and down when you try to articulate the upper and lower models. This can obviously cause a major problem as far as occlusion is concerned. The ideal way of taking a bite is using a VPS bite material which comes in the form of a cartridge like this. This is something that I have which is called the Smart Bite which is a VPS bite material from Illusion. The first thing you need to do is just bleed out the cartridge and attach the mixing tip. The best part about Smart Bite is that it is very rigid so obviously there is no distortion. We extrude some more material to ensure uniform mixing and then we take it over to the mouth and ask the patient to bite on it. Again, I would like to stress that the material needs to be added only over the preps. So assuming that I have prepared the lower 6 and 7, I am placing the material there. After about a minute, I am going to get it out of the patient's mouth and this is how it looks. Our VPS bite is ready. In my opinion, this is by far the best material to take a bite with compared to modeling wax or even alu wax. A test to see how rigid the material is, is to try and break the set material. It should break off very cleanly like a piece of chalk. So next time when a dealer walks into your clinic with a VPS bite, don't let him fool you and do this quick test yourself. So if you ask me, I would strongly recommend the use of VPS bite materials for crown and bridge dentistry to have greater predictability and more accuracy. Like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos. This is Dr. Mahesh Jagwani signing off. See you next week.